Hey everybody, GP here, and we're going to take a different spin. Um, I did a Fear of Lack video uh, before, and I want to do one I'm calling Tap Formations. And I decided to do this. Um, I actually have a whole set of six of them um, that are full length. I'm going to do uh, some uh, a short one here. Um, and the whole idea behind it uh, was affirmations with tapping. Now, there's nothing wrong with affirmations. I'm all for people having a more positive attitude than negative attitude, for sure. I'm all for people being more functional than dysfunctional. But I do find if our, if our emphasis is on only having good thoughts and the like, that all we do is suppress the unconscious material that's really running the show, which is why affirmations for the most part don't work until sufficient, a sufficient clearing of all of the old traumatic wounds and, and energetic patterns has taken place. Once that does, affirmations tend to sink in more. So I'm going to do a tap formation today. Now, if you haven't done my fear of lack uh, uh, tapping, I want you to do that first. The, uh, because people, we, we want to go to the, yeah, I want infinite abundance, right? Well, I don't want, you know, but we have to deal, we have to courageously deal with our unconscious belief in lack. Once you do, there's this opening for us to be able to affirm things about ourselves and affirm things about the universe and what's true with less inner resistance. If while you're doing this tap, forma tap formation with me, um, you do feel a sense of, of resistance. Just notice it. Right? Don't fight it. Be completely open. Let it be there. Continue with the tap formation. And then go back to one of the videos I have about you know, not being enough or lack. And, and really allow that resistance to be healed, to, to, to resolve itself in a safe environment. And I, all sorts of ways to do that. Um, so if there's a lot of resistance to the tap for, to doing tap formations, well, you know you got some work to do uh, on the on the other side of it. But even so, it's okay. Imagine yourself like you're just a little kid before any of the negative programming took place. And if imagine if these were the kinds of messages that you were receiving, if you just kind of take it playfully and pretend, you might find that these tap formations sink in a little bit more deeply than you thought, than an affirmation all by itself would. I do use some rep repetitions because it can be kind of mantra-like. Um, on the actual tap formation collection that I have, there's six of them, I've added music, uh, brain entrainment, solfeggio frequencies, binaural beats, um, and and I've got a version for doing my wake and a version for you to go to sleep in so that it, the, the affirmations keep going even when the tapping stops and put you nicely to sleep. But right now, I just want to do uh, this. And since this is the first one I've actually done like this, just sitting down live and doing it, I had to do a little preamble to give you a, to uh, tell you what we're about, about to do. So I'm calling this one infinite abundance. And oftentimes I'll speak about infinite abundance as the quality of the universe, but oftentimes I will put it into I am statements. I am infinite abundance. So I'm not going to use the karate chop point. I'm only going to tap through the points like this. Um, so if you don't know the if you don't know where the tapping points are, then uh, just tap where I'm tapping and just repeat after me when I say something. Infinite abundance. There is infinite abundance. I may not always see it, but it's always there. It's always in me. I am infinite abundance. Everything is within me. Sometimes that's hard to see. Sometimes I see nothing but lack. That's kind of like the clouds. They block the sky. They block the sun. But 
the sky and the sun are still there. Infinite abundance is real. And it's mine. I've been trained to not believe that. I've been trained to look for evidence of lack. And so that's what I've seen. What if infinite abundance was the reality and lack was the illusion? That feels true to me. You know, it doesn't make sense. An infinite universe with big gaping holes of lack. A universe that couldn't fulfill its own desires. That would be a kingdom divided against itself. Inevitable discord. Inevitable suffering. That can't be real. I know a lot of people believe it. it. Gives rise to all sorts of nasty qualities. Fear of lack. And greed. I, deep in my heart, I know I'm infinite abundance. Abundance is everywhere. Abundance is mine. I can't be separated from it. I'm more than just abundant. I'm abundance itself. My real being. My soul. My true nature is limitless, boundless, without beginning or end, infinite. Yes, the universe is infinite, which means right here too, not just out there somewhere, but here inside of me. I'm giving myself permission, directing my whole nervous system, which has been trained to believe in lack, to now know infinite abundance is real. And I'm it. So I'm opening my whole nervous system to let go of those old beliefs, those old patterns of thought, those old program responses, those old self images, and replace it with the true image of infinite, everlasting, personal abundance, manifesting everywhere as my life, in my life, in everything I do, in everyone I touch, every thought, emotion and sensation I have. I am infinite abundance. I am infinite abundance. I am infinite abundance. Take a deep breath. How does that feel? A statement like that, I'm infinite abundance, probably would 
probably met with resistance as we started this, but became more and more possible as, as we went on. This is, this is quite natural. Now, if there was a lot of resistance, just go back to one of my videos about the fear of lack and, um, and do that. Do that a few times till so you've opened up a space inside. Because we can't, you know, this isn't spiritual bypassing. We can't suppress deeply our deep wounds and traumas. We need to rescue them. We need to, we need to rescue them from the abyss of, of fear and self-doubt. And as you do, it becomes more and more open to the true message. And the true message is you are infinite being. Your nature is infinite love and joy and compassion. We've just been trained to think otherwise. All right, folks, until next time, tap on. Namaste.